week seven episode also seven <laughs> i was gonna say six because we did four and five last week but that's not how that works new mexico state they were three and at the beginning of the season have lost two straight here's the statistics um they're actually the worst pass defense so we're gonna try to take advantage of that they also have the worst total defense and have the second worst rushing offense but the third best passing offense so we're gonna try to take advantage of that uh, the passing defense though and maybe get a couple dots here and there dink and dunk just to get our hopefully our, uh, <laughs> our uh, whole offense up really our passing offense needs to answer our total offense ooh oh Jones Jones our second best receiver oh no no okay let's see well, what was his problem here Jones hasn't learned to manage his time between football schoolwork and student life yet maybe taking football away for a while help him speed up the process we, uh, what can, what can get the NCAA offer back we'll give him two quarters to kind of bring the NCAA offer back so yeah two quarters there Chuck Oliver, 5'7", 160 cornerback. I don't think this guy's ever stepped on the field yet for our team. Um, has skipped numerous team meetings and has no respect for team rules. Oh, oh, oh yeah, come on, dog. You, you can catch these two games. I'm sorry, but we are a very strict program with how we do discipline, and especially team meetings and etc. Key players, as you can see, are two. we have two players out. Uh, Jones will probably end up coming in for like the first quarter or something because that's this game's kind of like that uh, Two interceptions for gold two interceptions for McClendon Darby's got an interception and on their side their quarterback. I can see why they are The number three passing offense in the nation 1600 passing yards and then white the receiver has 593 receiving yards Reed is ready to get this one underway in Anchorage, Alaska as we kick it to New Mexico State Going with the normal home unis as Ward, our backup quarterback, wraps up, makes a tackle. Like to see all around talent on the field. Let's go ahead and see if we can stop this pass offense. As we're gonna go ahead and put Doherty in a spy, just because their quarterback's highlighted. I don't know if he's gonna be able to scramble. We'll find out here real soon, I bet. And we're gonna rush with Johnson. Nobody's open. McClendlin, two yards, not half bad. A good little stop. Second and eight now after that two yard reception. Motion to the left. It is now a single backfield set as Johnson spin falls on the ground. Gold knocks Gandy out of bounds just before the first down. Third and three now. Let's see what Alaska University can do if they can make the stop. Is hand off to the left side and Howard just gets crossed the line. First and ten after they actually had to come from across our 50 to get somewhere as it is double play action throw to the left side to green and Darby brings him down second and ten now three wide receivers to the left a tight end that goes up for a pass and <gasps> pick by Carter that's another stop that's another first defensive stop quite proud can this be the game we put up points first first plays going to Barber up the gut here we go Oh, double team and brought down probably the game of one. Going back to older reliable. We got slants Thomas. Oh, his hands and he dropped it. That would have been a first down. See, I feel like I just can't throw to anyone else. Third and ten now. Let's see if we can complete anything as we're looking for a slant to Stewart, but the block is hot. Literally no time to pass. I called hike. Stewart just got off his slant, like as just as it was cutting, and I'm already sacked. I have no time with any of these teams. First and ten after the small return, they got four wide receivers out. Carter's gonna be blitzing off the left edge here. To not get in there. Ball's just over the head. Gold wraps him up. Carter. <gasps> oh, Gold almost had an interception, and I don't know who that was. They got pancaked, and Martin's basically going to walk into the end zone as New Mexico State scores their first touchdown of the game. First and 10 after a turn at the 31. Counter to Barber is immediately met at the line. There's nowhere to go. Double slant. Stewart has a step, and pass interference? It wasn't getting tugged on? Stewart just doesn't make that catch. Third and 11. 
play action pass. Stewart was open as soon as he cut his route, but again, just sacked before we could do anything with it. The Aggies come out with a two running back, three wide receiver set as we rush four. McClendlin wraps him up, brings him down just before the line. Second and two, the last play before the first quarter ends as Darby was right there for a pick, but he's going to go ahead and assist and bring him down. At the end of one, seven to zero. Not the worst outcome we could ask for. It could be worse. Obviously, we've seen it. Um, but I'm going to take what we can get. First play of the second quarter as Hayden drops back to pass again. Oh, McClendon. Oh, couldn't get out there, but he did do enough just to scare him. Just the quarterback in the shotgun position here as Carter rushes off the edge. <gasps> pick! Gold's got a pick! There's no way he's going for six. He's slow, but pick with a decent return that's again stops the Aggies before getting in the uh, red zone. First and ten after the interception. Three man front, so we're going to run it with Barber as he falls forward for about eight. 51 is our season average in total offense, and that is definitely dead last. As now they have a five man front, but Barber's not scared as he's brought down behind the line. Thought we could run the same play twice to get away with it. Third and five here as we get Stewart across the middle on a slant. Ball is batted up as. I don't know. There was two Mountaineers in the same position there. We're at the 45. We don't really have anything to lose. Let's go ahead and go for it. It's fourth and five. If we punt the ball, we do have the win now. We didn't have the win last time. We do have the win now. Well, let's see if I can call the right play here. What we can get off of this. Let's see. We can get Stewart on the slant. There we go. Breaks a tackle. Don't fumble. Down at the 40. Almost 40 or 20 yards away from the red zone. I'm not going to get excited since they were almost. But it's 20 yards is definitely a lot for this team. But we're, we're getting closer. First and 10. Hand off to Barber. Makes a man miss, I guess. He kind of just bounced off of him and... Falls forward for about two yards. Second and eight. As the Mountaineers come out in the same formation. Single back set. Slants again as Stewart's open. Ball's don't slide behind him, but he catches it. Makes the grab, and we are almost inside the red zone. First and ten at the 24-yard line. Two minutes left in the half as Barber falls forward for about one yard. Mountaineers come in the same formation. Single back set. Slant over the middle. <gasps> Hard. Oh, come on. Just put it on the money. We could have had points. At least a field goal or something that drive. I was going to go for it on fourth this time. But of course, Hurd inside the red zone. Doesn't put the ball on target. Throws it five yards in front of him. First and ten with a minute 36 left as a deep bomb. Carter deflects it. Swats it down. Could have had a pick. Second and ten this time. The ball at the 18 is run. Screen pass, McClendlin wraps him up, brings him down. Third and eight balls on the 20. Depending on how good their punter is, we might have good field position here. If we can just deny a first down. We're going to bring Carter off the uh, left side here, technically, but we're going to bring him off the right side. Ball, good thrown ball, and it's caught, but there's a flag. They're ca it's coming back. It's coming back. We're going to have a second chance. Third and 18. Third and long, they're in a very massive formation, but we're still watching for the pass, because that's how they can beat us deep, unless they just get perfect blocks. Someone's bound to make a tackle, right? And there it is. Fourth down, we're going to call a timeout here so we can get the ball back with some time. 44 seconds left, two timeouts. We have to throw the ball here. We got we to gotta get something going. No way! And just like that, the ball is turned over again. That, that one was my bad. I thought he, because the safety came up the blitz. I thought he was going to go cover the flats. I should have thrown the flats there. That, that's my bad. That was a bad read. I'm still not the best at this game yet. It may be my favorite game of all time, but and the most game I have hours in, but doesn't mean I'm the best yet. Don't let him score. What a big hit by Gold! New Mexico State took a timeout to try to... See if they can put some points on the board. Maybe get seven instead of three here. As we're going to rush with Johnson here. Over the guard. Fight with the center. Get pancaked. Oh, Darby tips the ball just over his head. So close. Second and ten as we rush with Johnson again. Ball is thrown out of the way. I believe that there was a scramble in the middle. 
Linebacker got caught up. Third and ten. Oh, I almost jumped off sides there. That would give him third and five. Third and ten. We could force three here if we can lock up. Ball's going to the end zone. McKinlin tips it. Almost intercepted by Carter. New Mexico State has elected to go for it. Fourth and ten with 25 seconds left. They're not going to take their three. Maybe their kicker can't kick as far as I thought. They're going to blitz with Carter on the right side here. I see a man over the middle green. We're going to go for the SWAT. Swatted turnover. We forced a fourth down turnover. At the end of two, seven to zero. Not bad. We are looking very good on defense and okay on offense. Definitely, I wish we would have gotten points when we were in the red zone. I was going to run a run play, but they put like eight in the box, so we're not going to do that anymore. We're going to go an audible out. Back to slant, see if we can find somebody open. Just Jones had to step on the safety for a second. I was going to try to get it there as soon as I can. Second and long now. As uh, we got to throw the ball again. As Stewart's open across the middle, makes the grab, and is down a yard short of the first down line. Nothing is consistent in this offense. We pass the ball. It can be incomplete. Throwing behind them. Running is usually up or down, but we have to run on third and inches here. As Barber falls forward and somehow puts the ball across the line, and we get the first down. There we go. I put it in his hands, and he came through. First and ten after Barber. Go ahead and put the team on his back for a second as we're going to throw Stewart over the middle. Ball is thrown again at a weird, awkward angle. If you just lead him, that wouldn't be so bad. But first down on the last from her to Stewart. First and ten again as we're looking for Stewart again. As there he is. We let him diving but could not make the catch. Her just let him a little bit too much. Second and ten. And I think we're going to go ahead and give this one to Barber right up the gut. Had some nice blocks, not going to lie. Had, the blocks weren't bad. I just, Barber's big shoulders cannot fit through the hole. <laughs> so he got caught on two defenders. Third and seven as we're either looking for Stewart or Thomas. I mean, not Thomas, excuse me. Um, Barber out of the backfield. I mean, we could look for Thomas too, but is he going to be open? <gasps> Probably not as open as Stewart if we would just lead him. He beats him almost every time on the slants. First and ten after the punt. As a play action pass, tight ends open, but just steps out of bounds, doesn't have those sticks to stay in bounds and go upfield. Second and three, two running back set. Wouldn't be surprised if they give this one 34 with the lead blockers. It's a play action pass again. Deep ball, and oh my goodness. Ooh, just overthrown as you could really see the speed difference there from both the CPUs as I did not want to click on and mess it up if there was any chance of getting that ball. Third and three, as you can hear the crowd chat our name as it's play action again. Thrown back over the middle as, oh, Gandy comes out of nowhere and catches it over the middle of the tight end from the right side. First and ten now as they're at the 47 where we punted from. As Carter's trying to get in there, almost a sack, put the pressure on him, he definitely had to hurry that one, and incomplete pass. Second and ten now, as we're going to come off the edge with Carter again, another passing play, they definitely are a passing team. Oh, that's all 6-3 of Darby right there. 6-3 Darby goes up and gets it, he really shows his jump. He may have the fastest team on the speed, wait, the fastest speed on the team, and he may be one of the tallest cornerbacks at 6'3", but you can definitely see his athleticism with that. Look at this. He just goes up and gets it. Even being beat, bam, No, any player short in 6'3 wouldn't be able to do that. First and 10, going to Barbara as he falls forward for a couple yards. Second and 6, Stanley had four tackles on special teams last week, and we're going to give him this one up the gut as he falls forward for about a yard or two. Third and six, and you bet you, you know what we're doing here. As we're going to come out. Look for Stewart as he must have been hit as he threw him. That was a duck. If he wasn't hit as he threw, that might have been the worst pass today. Like, it wasn't picked, but that was over two defenders, and it was an absolute duck. Fourth and six after the incompletion, and uh, we're on this side of the 15. We have nothing really to lose. The wind is to our back, says, Stewart's open over the middle. What a grab. We completed the fourth down. After taking it to the fourth quarter, we got four or three back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back pass plays. So we're going to go ahead and draw to Barber as he falls forward for about a gain of one. Not what I was hoping for on a draw. I was hoping for the holes to open up, but he did get a yard, so I can't complain, I guess. That 
he is doing positive for this team. Second and nine at the 30 yard line. Slants again as Stewart's open over the middle, makes the grab, hauls it in for another first down. I think we're inside the red zone. Just on the edge of the red zone, we're at the 20 yard line, so technically we're in it. Well, let's see if we can complete another pass here. We're gonna roll out. We're gonna roll out. Oh, I pressed the wrong button twice. <sighs> I don't know if he'd have been able to throw it that far, but I had two people open running upfield, and now we're out of any types of field goal range because of the sack. It's the fourth quarter, and Jones is back in. It is second and 18, and we're going to give it to Jones on the wide receiver quick as he cuts upfield, falls forward for a couple yards, putting us right dead center of a possible field goal attempt if we don't complete this third down. Oh my goodness. I didn't even do anything. And he just jumped off sides. I was about to set up the play. I was going to run the, um, the ace play that I was here. I'll show you. I was going to run the ace arrow, and he just jumped off sides. I didn't even have to do anything. I didn't even fake snap. I was just going to put my uh, tight end the block. Well, third and ten now, so it's very manageable for slants here as we come out in the same formation as the safety comes up. So we're going to see what we can do here as we're looking for Stewart again over the middle. It hauled in, gets more towards the middle again for a good field goal attempt here. As it is fourth and three, we're gonna be able to kick this field goal. This is one of the closest games we've had. We have 16 mile per hour wins as well. This might be our first points of the season, everybody. It's not gonna be a touchdown. We're gonna have to settle for the three, but this could be something special. It's up and it's perfectly down the middle. We have points on the board, three points all season. We've only allowed seven this game. We are gonna grow. We are doing great. I'm happy we finally have points. I just can't wait for our first touchdown, our first pass touchdown, our first rushing touchdown, our first punt touchdown, our first kickoff return. I cannot wait for these things to happen. Our first defensive touchdown, that's gonna be a big one, especially with how good our defense is. But we have shown improvement as we're holding New Mexico State to seven points, and we have three. So we've put, we, the whole thing of, the last four weeks of me wanting to put points on the board has finally come true as we have three. And if we can do it again and get seven, we might be able to win this game somehow. I don't know how, but this is this is definitely a doozy for sure as we might be able to put up enough points to win the game. As it's a handoff to Howard as he's brought down for a five-yard gain. They're stacking the box here. So do we. Second and five. Looks like they're just going to let the clock tick and then keep running this game out. They're going to play conservative and try to go for the win here. But they're not the best run offense as they are one of the worst teams in the nation. So third and three. We're going to call a timeout here to stop the clock. Hello? <laughs> and try to get this ball back if we can stop them. Third and three. The ball's on the 37-yard line as they, they give it to Howard again. He's brought behind the line. We're going to use another timeout here, and we're going to have a minute and a timeout to work with a minute and six seconds left we're definitely we're definitely in two minute drill territory here as stewart's open up across the middle drops the pass you don't see that very often with stewart second and ten now as you come out in the same formation because we only can really run slants as <gasps> oh what a grab by stewart it's the first down so the stop it's a first down so the clock will be stopped but right now we can we're going to keep moving here. We might be able to get 100 passing yards on the game as well as we're already at 99. As Stewart's open again. <gasps> Flings it to him. What a grab. We're inside the 40 now. First and 10 at the 40-yard line. Same play. Stewart's open across the middle. Holds on to it. Makes the grab. we got to go in the hurry up because it wasn't a first down. The clock will not stop as that's 10 receptions on the day for Stewart. Quick snap. Here we go. Looks back. <gasps> P.I. Throw the flag. The safety bumped him. No. That's going to stop the clock, though, but it is going to be third and two at the 32-yard line. I don't know if we can kick a field goal from this far. Even with the wind on our side, we are at an angle, and it might be hard to do so. As Gold gets the player of the game for this team. As it is now third and two. Let's see what we can do here. As we're looking for <gasps> Stewart on the slant as he pulls it in. First down again. That's Thomas. Thomas took his spot. Stewart must be tired. Nine first downs. Tom. Oh my goodness. Stewart is not in. Are we going to be able to do this on the field with no Thomas over the middle again? Holds on to it. He fumbles. What a heartbreaking moment. As Thomas catches it, gets another first down, and fumbles. In the red zone 
And that's going to do it. That's how we're going to lose to New Mexico State. One of the closest games we have. A nitty gritty fight to the literally the last 24 seconds. Unless they throw a pick here or do something. But I think they're just going to run the ball. But maybe we have a chance if they're being cocky. But it looks like they're just going to run the ball as we only have one timeout. So we're going to use it. Second and eight now, as they're going to do the same play, hands off to Howard, and that's going to be the game. They're going to let the time wind down. Third and six, and no timeouts left. We were so close. That's the closest we've ever been to winning a game. Seven to three. I don't know what happened, but I guess the boys were really ready to play this game as clocks hit triple zeros and seven to three is going to be the final score against a three and two Aggie team now going on the four and two we go from 0 and 5 to 0 and 6 as the Aggies celebrate running off the field and man that if Stewart was in there's no doubt about it that we don't fumble the ball there and we get another shot I shouldn't have ran the hurry up it was a first down I should have stopped I should or I should have taken a timeout let Stewart catch his breath but what a game. Let's go ahead and check the stats out because that was definitely not our best offensive game. But as a team, we played phenomenal. Only 143 total offensive yards here. Five first downs for New Mexico State. We had nine first downs with 134 total offensive yards. Negative eight rushing yards again. Not a strong suit. 12 for 23 with 142 yards. Five sacks. Sacks really did bring us down because there was a couple plays where he, Stewart was open and we just couldn't get the ball off. Two for nine for us on third down. That gambles on fourth and going two for two were big. As we had a field goal in the red zone. Three turnovers both times. We had one fumble there at the end and two interceptions early on in the game. As we had 174 total yards, they had 183. That was definitely our best defensive game. And how we chewed the clock to stay in there at the end as much as we could. But man, that fumble really cost us there. Because I was, I was going for gold. I wasn't going to settle for no field goal with 20 seconds left. I don't care. Some individual stats. Heard 12 for 23 with 142 yards and two interceptions. Nice and over 50%. Barber. 30 yards with 11 attempts, but sadly uh, those five sacks really hurt the rushing as a negative 41 for her. Jones had the sweep for one for three. It was not half bad. Stewart, 10 for 121. Thomas there getting late into the game, catching two as he subbed in for him with 21 yards, but sadly had the lost fumble. Blocking, we had two pancakes. Very good, very good. Um, our center, Durfee, the freshman, had a pancake and Smith the sophomore the right guard as well had a um, pancake so that's nice Tucker four sacks he's a senior so he will be leaving us next year but man four sacks you gotta get better at that defensive individuals four tackles for Anderson four for gold two for Ward gold had the MVP for our team with the interception of four tackles oh Ward is this is James Ward the strong safety not the quarterback excuse me I thought I the whole time I was saying Ward the quarterback it is not uh, McClendland the cornerback <laughs> yeah, two tackles uh, Darby two tackles one for loss and that clutch interception there at the end um, I believe he also had a yeah pass deflection with McClendland Doherty had two tackles of his own Johnson had two tackles of his own, one for a loss, and uh, Durfee, the center, had one tackle for uh, probably the interception, if I'm not mistaken. Green also had a tackle. Not bad kicking. Perfect on the year. John Reed, the sophomore, 6'1", 170, got massive legs. 100% on the year, 31-yarder, not bad, not bad. Uh, today's key players, goal with the interception, Stewart with the 121 receiving yards, wish he could be there in the end, and Darby with the interception. Next week we will take on number 16, Boise State, our second ranked opponent this year as they are 5-0 and and leaning in the whack. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later, it was your boy Drew, I hope you guys enjoyed this very, very close game for New Mexico State. Like, they scored in the first quarter and we held them. For three more quarters to zero like that was such a close game i hope the boys get a really good boost out of this and their overalls can go up so we can put up a fight against a uh a possible bcs team 
considering he's on the front cover this year. Um, <laughs> man, I'll see y'all later. It was your boy Drew today, and uh, goodbye. Man, that was so close. We, we really had him there for the last 24 seconds. They were fighting.